Hi, my name is Sanford Johnson. I'm here at Sex Ed Training right now. Uh, we've been training folks on draw the line, respect the line, as well as reducing the risk. One of the major issues that we're having is that we're teaching uh, teens, we're, we're going to teach teens how to use condoms correctly and consistently. However, we cannot do condom demonstrations. So I decided to do something else. I want to teach kids how to put on a sock. If you're going to be engaged in a sock activity, whether you're wearing an athletic shoe or whether you're using a dress shoe, it doesn't matter to me as long as your foot is protected. I want to make sure that you have on a sock. So if I'm putting on a sock, what I do is I start with a sock and I want to pinch out the, the, the air out of the tip of the sock because I want to make sure that there's room for my toes when I'm engaging in a shoe activity. Then I take the sock and I put it on top of my foot, and all I do is just roll it down. Just roll it down. Now, some people stop right here and just only, only put that sock on halfway. That's not how you do it. You want to take your sock and you want to roll it all the way down your foot. You want to roll it all the way down your foot, and then you can put it inside your shoe. And then you're ready to engage in a shoe activity. Now, when I'm done with the shoe activity, remember, whether it's athletic shoe, dress shoe, I don't care. That does not, not matter to me. But when I'm done, what I do is I take the top of the sock and I make sure that I hold it very tight and then I pull it outside of the shoe and then I can just pull the sock on off. I pull the sock off, I tie it up because I don't want sweat to fall out or anything like that. And then I toss it away, put it in the hammer. So if you're going to engage in a shoe-related activity, make sure that your foot is protected. Make sure that you use a sock each and every time.